Good morning, everybody. Dr. Vong here with your COVID update. Today is August 26th, and uh, yesterday's number was uh, roughly 170,000 cases uh, in the United States. That brings up our seven-day average to 152,000 cases. Um, depending on what the numbers are tomorrow and Saturday, I mean, like I said, I mean, we're going to settle around 200,000. And um, so this is not good. And if the uh, seven of the top 10 hottest counties for COVID uh, per 100,000, seven of the top 10 hottest counties are in Georgia. So if you're living in Georgia, boy, it's a hot mess. That South is getting baked by COVID. And like I said, um, uh, Houston yesterday, 4,000 cases. It's never been that high before. That's the running average. So I know it's probably more cases than that. We have we are having ER closures. We have full ICU beds, um, and it's not just the old. I rem, you know I want to remind you guys this is a new pandemic. It is not like last year's. It's not old people. It's not um uh you know it's young kids. It is people in their forties and thirties and twenties in these ICUs, guys, and uh, ironically. And I know, I don't wish harm on anybody, trust me, but, um, you know, you've heard about like this conservative talk show radio host who's died, who was an anti-vaxxer who, who is, uh, who died from COVID last week. Currently, um, one of the attorneys who's defending, uh, like 12 of the January 6th rioters, he is, he's an anti-vaxxer. He has posted on social media as recently as like a couple weeks ago, you cannot make me get this vaccine. This is not American. You know, all the all the usual stuff. Well, he's currently on a ventilator. And it's because he did not show up to a court date and his uh, partner informed the judge. Unfortunately, he's in the hospital on a ventilator and he's unresponsive. So I just, you know, it's just craziness. Now, what I really want to spend time talking about today is um, uh, is young women who are pregnant. Um, the latest research, the publication has come out, which shows that the vaccine is a benefit if you're pregnant. If, um, in fact, um, the women who are having trouble are unvaccinated. You know, it is unvaccinated pregnant women who are on uh, ventilators and who, if you love this unborn baby, um, then you need to get vaccinated yeah, and it's safe. So the latest study shows that it's actually safe for pregnant women uh, to get vaccinated, right? And it does not affect pregnancy. It does, your, your, your baby's not born with a monkey tail. Your baby's not going to be born with three eyes. It does not alter your baby's DNA. It does, you know, because that's not how the vaccines work. Um, but definitively, it's when, when women, when pregnant women are unvaccinated and they come down with COVID, that causes a, like a very high risk to uh, early termination, loss of pregnancy, um, loss of, uh, you know, early preterm birth. Um, it's, and you're starting to hear more and more horrific stories of mothers who either lost, unvaccinated mothers who either lost their baby or, um, or, you know, de delivered the baby while on the ventilator. You're, you're going to hear all these stories, but I just wanted to come on and very calmly tell you that the latest research as the doctors and scientists have looked over the cases, it's the unvaccinated pregnant women that are um, at risk. And uh, to date, no vaccinated woman, pregnant woman has given birth to a monkey baby, <laughs> to a baby with a tail, to any of this weird stuff, right? Um, so that's my plea to you because, you know, it's weird. <sighs> You know, and I don't want to get into the abortion debate um, because, you know, I don't have a uterus <laughs> and uh, I want to defend like I'm on the side of my partner who has a uterus. So whatever she wants is kind of how I fall on the abortion debate. 
But it's so weird that I, f I find that the people who, who claim, you know, right to life and that sort of argument are the same people who are anti-vaxxers, you know? Like, don't you want to protect this pregnancy? Well, the re latest research shows that the best way to protect the pregnancy is to get vaccinated. Um, again, another example of just really confused logic and thinking. Um, that's uh, today's update, August 26th. Numbers are still going up here in Texas, in Houston. Uh, ICUs are full. Um, Georgia's a hot mess. Doctors are, work, are walking out. Nurses are, are quitting to prevent burnout. And we still have people who won't get vaccinated. You know, there's probably uh, you know, uh, roughly 52% of Americans are fully vaccinated. And remember, it takes you two months. So if you get vaccinated today, you're talking Halloween before you can feel safely, fully protected against the wild type. Remember the data is 94% against the wild type. Now you have Delta variant. Yeah, see people who are vaccinated are getting sick and they're gonna ice, well, yeah, because you have this fucking Delta variant because you wouldn't get vaccinated. But you are you good? Are you just going to get another booster after another booster if there's another variant after? Maybe if that's what the science dictates, you know, but they're still very effective against the Delta variant. I mean, you're still talking 90 percent effective um, against, you know, severe illness and death. So I'll take my chances with an A. And, um, and also, also breastfeeding. I forgot to mention this, but uh, this latest study show that vaccinated women, it's safe to breastfeed your baby. So, and you'll probably pass on the antibodies. So you're gonna give additional protection to a newborn. It's, I, just the reasoning baffles me. Someone comment below if you can explain it to me. As always, I love you. Stay safe. It's scary. It's dangerous out there. Uh, wear your mask. Social distance. Just a little bit longer. Get vaccinated. And then, you know, let's not be idiots come this fall, come the holidays. Um, all right. See you tomorrow.